Hello everyone, I'm Arun Babu Nalamara and welcome back to Tatveda. In our last episode, we explored the earliest glimmers of scientific thought and how curious minds in ancient India and Greece began shaping humanity's quest for knowledge. Today, we'll pick up the story by looking at how these foundational ideas evolved into something far more profound. Cosmological revolutions that challenged our understanding of what the universe looks like and our place within it. If you are new to my channel and this series, please do watch previous videos of this series before continuing into this video. And don't forget to subscribe to this channel to not miss future videos of this series. If you like this video and find suitable to some of your friends or social media groups, please share the link with them. Thank you for this big favor. Let's go back to the content. Uh, let's start by revisiting some Vedic cosmological ideas. As I mentioned, the Nasadiya Sukta from the Rig Veda ponders the universe's origin in a deeply poetic way, hinting that creation itself might be cyclical. You can almost sense an ancient curiosity about whether the cosmos had a beginning or if it ebbed and flowed through infinite cycles of birth, death and rebirth. This echoes certain modern theories suggesting the universe might expand and contract over enormous time scales. An idea we've only tested with contemporary tools like telescopes, satellites, and mathematical models. Meanwhile, in the ancient Greek world, astronomers like Ptolemy developed the geocentric model, placing Earth at the center of everything. Though we now know that's not the case, back then this model was elegant and mathematically sufficient for predicting planetary motions, at least to a point. Why did people cling to it so fiercely? Cultural norms and philosophical doctrines supported the notion of Earth as a central, almost sacred spot in the cosmos. It fit neatly into prevailing religious and intellectual traditions. And for many people, that was reason enough to believe it must be correct. But big changes often come from unexpected corners. Early Greek thinkers like Aristarchus proposed a heliocentric idea that the Earth moves around the Sun well before Copernicus made it famous. These ideas, however, didn't gain traction initially. Why? The simplest explanation is that new ideas can threaten established authority and people often resist shifting away from concepts that have worked for centuries. Copernicus, centuries later, would face similar resistance when he revived the heliocentric theory. The mathematical beauty of his model and the painstaking observations by astronomers like Tycho Brahe eventually made it impossible to ignore. You've watched this far, which tells me you are a change-seeking person. If you like it so far, please reflect that in liking the video and commenting it. By doing so, you will make this video visible to many people like you and me. Okay, so what's the real lesson in these cosmological shifts? It's that open-mindedness and evidence-based reasoning are powerful forces in science. Consider Galileo Galilei, who pointed his telescope toward Jupiter and discovered moons orbiting another planet, contradicting the geocentric view. His insistence on letting observations guide conclusions is a shining example of the scientific method. Yet, as we know, he faced substantial backlash from the church, even enduring house arrest. This historical moment reminds us that science doesn't advance in a vacuum. Cultural, religious and political contexts can seriously influence which ideas gain acceptance and which are suppressed. You might be asking yourself, but Arun, why does this matter to me today? Well, I believe that understanding these paradigm shifts helps us recognize the enormous potential for future revolutions in thought, possibly in realms we haven't even imagined yet. In our modern era, we are still grappling with mysteries like dark matter, dark energy and the collision between quantum mechanics and general relativity. If history has taught us anything, it's that today's cutting-edge theories may be tomorrow's stepping stones. We must remain open to revising our models when the evidence demands it. Now, in my own work, especially when exploring radical ideas like life possibly residing within subatomic spaces or the LDS theory, which says matter structured as a material body with density layers residing in its parent bodies, one of the density layer. I keep these historical lessons close at hand. Rather than dismiss an unconventional notion, I ask, what tests can we devise? How can we verify or falsify it? That's the spirit that propelled Copernicus and Galileo forward. 
and it's the same spirit I believe we should keep alive today. Let's also consider the holographic principle, the notion that all the information in our universe might be encoded on its boundaries. This concept resonates in ancient texts and modern physics alike. Just as Vedic stories likened the seed of a fig to an entire potential tree, so modern theories suggest that cosmic data might be stored in a manner we're only beginning to comprehend. And if that doesn't instill a sense of wonder, I don't know what does. You look so curious. Keep it up and we can make this journey memorable for years to come. You are now the part of our community. Please make it wider by spreading the word and sharing it with your buddies and commenting your feelings just below this video. So as we wrap up this second video, I encourage you to reflect on the incredible trajectory from ancient guesses about the cosmos to groundbreaking observations that reshaped our worldview. Every step in that journey involved someone brave enough to follow the evidence, question authority, or propose a new framework. The takeaway is clear. The universe is a grand mystery always urging us to look deeper. In our next video, we'll dive into one of history's greatest transitions, how we went from geocentrism to heliocentrism. We'll see how thinkers like Copernicus and Galileo, and later Kepler and Newton, overcame massive odds to shift our cosmic perspective forever. Thank you for watching, and as always, stay curious. The universe still has plenty of secrets for us to uncover.